Hey what's up guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to model the shuttlecock for game asset Okay, so first of all I'll add a cylinder to make this one, this part So mesh, uh, cylinder and I'll make it to maybe 32 Okay, and if I shift smooth and then normal, auto smooth and I put it to 80 and then I will bevel the bottom part. Oops. Okay. So make sure the this one is 0.5. All right. And make this segment a five. Yeah, five is good enough. Okay. So the next part, I will bevel the top part. Control B and make we'll make only one bevel like this okay you'll see that this one is look sharp but to make to make it look smooth what you need to add is a weighted normal modifier keep sharp and 100 now it will look smooth but still like uh, still sharp but maybe maybe you can add some more polygon so you just control b add one more one more subdivision now it's it will look smooth lah from far okay from far it looks smooth then um, this one if I merge to the center will it looks okay looks better yeah maybe but nah okay never mind yes uh, ignore that part first so now I'm going to so show show you how I, I will model this uh, feathers okay so this one rename it as uh, as uh, what what does it call eh? main part uh, just call it main part okay and then go to the make it uh, insert it into a new collection and call it shuttlecock and then hide it Okay, now now we'll be model modeling this uh, feather so we, i will be pressing alternate g so that it will go to the center okay then position it accordingly and then now the the basic shape of this uh, feather the 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 this long part is cylinder right so uh, i will add a cylinder and with eight subdivisions so go to edit mode scale it reduce the scale and match the size lah. Okay, be like this. And as you can see, it has two parts, left and right. So I'll model it two parts lah. So this one, press O, G, Z, and reduce the uh reduce uh you scroll to reduce the size of the of this proportional editing. And then this one, I can go over. Uh, push it upward ok now as you can see the shape is a bit irregular so add some subdivisions over here and over here then you can push it here and then control B to bevel it ok then shade smooth auto smooth 80 and this one at a weighted normal modifier keep sharp 100 ok and then now this one is a bit, uh, a bit. It's not that smooth, so I move it, move the polygon a bit, move the edge over there. Now let's see in the wireframe mode. Okay, the shape is almost the same. And we can push it a bit over here. Okay, like that. So next, next step is to duplicate this one to the right. Shift D X like this. Okay, but maybe I think if we make it straight, it's better. Maybe, yeah. Okay, like this. Okay. Then, push this upward. Oops. Or maybe you can scale it to zero first. And then, push this downward. Okay, now we have two two blades. I mean, I two, um, two this long part. I don't know what it calls. Because my English is a bit... Uh, even in Malay also, I don't know what it calls. 
uh, maybe tangkai lah tangkai invalid cause tangkai so yeah just move it move it like this yeah. you don't really have to follow it exactly so just make it shape make the shape a bit irregular but yeah not not to follow exactly as the reference ah okay so i'm going to make this one a bit long like this so now for the feather parts there are two ways to model it one is by just using a plane and apply alpha texture on it but if you don't don't have that if you want to make it as a model so it's still a plane but you need to cut use a knife tool to cut to follow this shape lah to have this uh this holes of here and there okay so um, i add a plane so the plane is over here then rotate it to 90 degrees at x axis and then control r over here and remove this face okay you there, there are two ways maybe if you want to mirror it you can but if you see if you think that by mirroring it it will look uh too repetitive then don't mirror it ah you we'll make it one by one ah. okay so this one just move it over here make the over overall shape first okay so this one over here and this one to be over here now we'll add a subdivision control r then move this around here okay so this one need to bevel it so control b vertices so maybe uh, f four make it make it look smooth lah okay this one also need to bevel control b okay and this one also need to bevel control b vertices and wait what happened wait are there two yeah uh, yeah yes i thought so so remove this one control b vertices and yeah okay this one there are two also move this one move it here move it here move it here okay now it's done so we have the overall shape now we we want to i want to make the details so to make the details just press k to use the knife tool and then trace it trace it lah, like this okay right click to um to apply i mean to temporarily apply and left click to to cut lah, like this okay so left click right click left click so maybe if if it become like this right uh, it's always on the center just press shift to disable it disable the center uh, uh, snap to center option and then space bar to apply space bar to really apply it so now what you want to do just select all these faces remove the faces so now you get this this kind of uh, feather lah. this kind of effect okay so just continue doing it until you feel satisfied so okay I'll make it like this so this oops and over here over here a bit this one a bit okay and this part and the last one is this part okay it, it will it will look a bit cartoonish basically but yeah, that, that, but this is the, the one of the method that you can do it lah. I'm just showing how I do it. Okay, I'm not the pros or the one that that tells which one is right or wrong. But this is how I do it. If you want to know lah. Okay. So just remove the faces. Then we hide this. Now we get this kind of uh, effect lah. Okay. So now this one is has too many endgones. So the shortcut to do this is if you don't want to optimize anything like right, just select all and then just press Ctrl T to triangulate everything. And then if you want to make it, if you want to change the triangulate triangulation to quads, just press Alternate J. Okay. 
so then the other parts you need to fix it manually lah like design just press hold this and then hold this and then uh, press J eh, sorry press M uh, at last but I like to add a shortcut on it just for button number 4 lah on your mouse if you have extra button so just do it like this ok uh, let optimize this 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 uh, asset lah this mesh ok so this one has so many unnecessary unnecessary, line, unnecessary lines so this one you can mesh to, to that one and this also you can remove ok this one is needed this one you can remove alright so this one this one can remove this one needed this one also can remove you can put it here and another uh, shortcut I, I like to change is J I will like, I changed it to button 5 so it's easier for me to because I I I, uh, I used J so so many times and it's pretty hard to to press it on the keyboard that's why I, I like to press it on the mouse it's easier easier and faster so this one just connect to the bottom part so I can connect here <coughs> this one <coughs> Maybe you can X collapse and I I assign shortcut shift X so shift X it'll collapse like that okay and position it accordingly and yeah I think that's it it's quite optimized now so now what we want to add is add the thickness of it so extrude it like this okay if you want to shade smooth you can shade smooth if you don't want then just don't lah. Maybe you can shade smooth and then you just use say auto smooth 60. Okay, because this one is quite uh quite what we, we say yeah quite thin so it doesn't really doesn't really matter the bevel because it's thin. Okay, it's like a it's a feather, right? Okay. So now for the left part you can you can uh, just duplicate it if you want if you don't want then model it again ah. just the same step okay add a plane position it accordingly uh, control r remove this face okay so this one if you want to make it cleaner you, you put the put the pivot point in the middle so press control uh, period then then you will control the pivot point then g x then you turn on this vertex snapping then you snap here g x snap make sure you press x to snap here then it will be in the center over here lah. then press control period again now what we'll, what you need to do is wait sazan okay now what we want to do yes repeat the same step as i told you before lah okay so just position it accordingly control r position over here this one over here this one over here and this one over here okay now you can remove can i remove these edges okay can but the face will will disappear so just face it again so now uh, add some bevel where you want to put the bevel, just add some bevel. So I want to put it here. Vertices. Okay, maybe like this. And this one, push it out a bit. This one, low a bit to the left a bit. Okay. Then this one over here. This one bevel. Okay, now it's pretty good. Looking good. Okay. So, now the next step is to cut it. So, just cut it as, as you want. Lah. Press the K, K button for knife tool. Left click to add cuts. Left click, left click to add cut. Right click to temporarily apply it. Okay.
then remove the faces that you want to remove Oops, faces so you now if you can see we have a nice variation of feathers but the size uh, over here is quite small so you can press O, G, X and move it to the right uh. just make sure the size is almost the same as the right one Okay. Uh, just uh, ignore the the center first. Later we'll fix it. Okay, now we we'll fix the center. Press select all the center part. S X sorry, turn off the proportional editing. S X zero, and position it accordingly. All right. So this one maybe you can push it up a bit. Yeah. Now your shuttlecock is almost finished. Now we have to extrude this one. And make sure you extrude it the same uh, width as this lah. So how I do it, I just press E and then I hold control and snap snap, snap it here. Then voila, your shuttlecock is finished. Okay, so for the next part, I will continue in the next video. Okay, so that's all for me. Uh, the next part is just to, to uh, what, what you say, eh? in Malay, just... To combine everything, I uh, to make it as a one shuttlecock, one full shuttlecock. Okay, that will be will be in my next video. So that's it for this video. If you don't understand, just ask me in the comment section. If you understand, then give it a like button. Uh, just press the like button and subscribe uh, if if you want. But if you don't want, then it's up to you lah because uh I can't I can't control you. So everything is up to you. 60 yeah. Oh, okay, 60 is better. 60. Okay, so I think that's it. That's it from me. Thank you. Bye-bye.